a year NDC and soccer boys, and then they almost didn't say they to a guy. I need to listen to this. I'm more the and you're the man pinning that that general when you're Mahama. I'm the man on president of the Republic of Ghana. Da I'm not the ABC and the SNC at China. A beam if you say. Abraham Mahama ye ma peni no omo na na Mahama e bo mpa omo mudi nya mrasem eni se hunu e wo Michael Kogan na ma mu hanom to muti aside nya de omo Mahama e di president e wa hada eni anka eni se so nya de omo so meti di president e wa ga ma mu hanom da aha ye nka sati do for master of sub subscribe be like na wa share me ma we fi so be mi ona ma no se de beti ma so nya bi ahwe eti e kama kama ye koko ti ense ni enchi ye ko so ye de um, you yeah, fat trendy news now. Nah, yeah, the soon you yeah, for any a bit of watch or so, share or YouTube channel. So then any day they can so I would see or the new TV. I remember if you say, or be subscribe to our channel, or be like now do I drink here so a good comment session or come come. You be quite with and send moon chip mo ye papa. We do be BRC. Let me see Ben Kaiser Amidu, former. Special prosecutor and I watch the crater at the upper the current special prosecutor lawyer William Kisi Ejabin. Now, and some, yeah, Martin ABK Amid Eka information, yeah, or dema with regards to the B according to Martin K. Amidu. Lawyer Kisi Ejabin, a you will summa see ya, and another don't go for the power point you know in him. Against on one case party the MPP, and in your mind all year the board the NDC, you will just be shocked. You will just be shocked. Martin Ebi Kamidi, while children someone you marry papa papa papa. You be king kind. The SSC is teaching, you be teaching. The SSC about the tougher, you want the tougher. I say, the special prosecutor William Kisiye Jabin is so desperate to protect the mismanagement, the culture of corruption. Massive staff recruitment more practices and public procurement more practices, which have become pervasive and endemic within his own office. On the blind side of the president, the special prosecutor has therefore resorted first to blackmailing his own government and secondly, courting leading members of the opposition NDC. Together with other disgruntled members of civil society and a rented media to create the impression that it is his appointing authority, that is the MPP, that is impeding his so called fight against corruption, which is false. He is rather moving about, soliciting support from gurus within the NDC just to blackmail Ronaldo Danko and his own party MPP. The unfortunate facts gathered by me from information and intelligence are that Kisir Jabin, the special prosecutor, cannot extricate himself from the pervasive suspected corruption and corruption related offenses taking place within the office of the OSP himself in connection with recruitment corruption and public procurement malpractices. The OSP is mandated to prevent, investigate, and prosecute. This is the reason for the inability of the special prosecutor to answer my previous challenges to him, to sermon his rented media and press, as he has serially done against suspects under investigation, to deny or affirm to the court of public opinion his role in the corruption and massive procurement more practices in the OSP. The OSP suspected corruption port should never be allowed to call the citizens suspected of corruption's kettle black in the fight against corruption and public procurement more practices in Ghana, where he has shown that he is the main head of all of them. Therefore, going notwithstanding, on 13 December 2023, the OSP was audaciously reported to have outlined four cases involving a total of six former MPP government appointees being tried for corruption and corruption related offenses. One wonders the reasons Kisi Ejabin has for selectively causing a social media post on only former MPP government appointees 
being tried for corruption and corruption related offenses as do corruption offenses have political colorations the OSPs have yearly report dated 30th June 2023 published as required by law listed those cases among other cases without the emphasis he now places on the appointing government for the six suspects. This appears to be the case of an incompetent, unprofessional and entrepreneurial minded drowning Kisie Jabim who has been gallivanting around the globe on the public place and recently scurrilously abusing the courts and administration of justice on 29th November 2023, dragging down his appointing authority with, with him. Should it fail to rescue him from his infractions of the law, Kisi Ejabin naively seeks to carry public sympathy and empathy to create the fake impression that it is Nanado Dankwa Ekufuado's government that is against him for fighting corruption affecting former MPP government appointees. The timing of William Kisie Jabin's decision to publicize and issue communiques highlighting the six former MPP government appointees as though only former government appointees of the MPP have the propensity to be suspected of the commission of suspected corruption offenses is important in understanding the political nature and expediency of blackmailing the government into not exposing existing corruption, massive unlawful staff recruitment practices and public procurement practices within the OSP. I sometimes wonder where are all those scandals and corruption related cases associated with the NDC and former appointees of former President John Jamain Mahama gone to? Is William Kisier Jabin telling us that all the case files I left at the office of the special prosecutor have been bent down or stolen? William Kisier We sampled as well as a constituency. So about seven constituencies that have a number of or, or a good number of Zongo communities in When they finish and they present the report, I tell you they tell the constitutional report no fine. If we had worked on the constitutional report, we would not be where we are today. I tell you they tell the constitutional report no way. Don't worry, my dear. They finish this match now. I want some game. Next year, more there be a new head go or Ghana. You're very very lucky now. But the NDC is going to be strong going into this. Now I can assure you why you have been understanding this year. Bad leadership.